This highlight video is part two of the stream. I advise you to watch the first part of this stream. You've done so much for me today and I, now you should close your eyes. Okay. And I need your hands this time. Before I had ti have time to process what's happening, Monica kisses. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. That's my press man! I mean the robot, I mean yes, I'm in shock, but I'm excited, but also yes. Did she just, her lips, they're so soft. My first kiss with Monica, the most popular girl in school, with my childhood friend. While well, I'm still convincing myself that really just happened, Monica keeps up her boxes, all sweets and turns to the direction of her home. Call me soon for our next date. Byron. Monica Robs runs in the opposite direction. Uh, yeah, bye. I pick my own up my own boxes. I'm still stunned by what what by what just happened. Yes, that was amazing. Oh no! Seems the festival is coming up soon. I hope things go well. Music. It's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expect this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with my vice president. <laughs> Oh boy! But Sigur is not answering the her phone. I considered going to her house to check up on her again, but I decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparation of the event should be near complete. Since I walked with Monica last Saturday, I didn't have to bring anything. She sent me a few happy texts here and there, and some lovely lovely. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with everyone at the festival. But with what we have planned, I'm sure the event will be great too. That's funny, I'm the only one at school. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. There are little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones Monica prepared that has all the poems we are performing. I'm surprised that Yuri isn't here. As vice president, she should have a compliment. A compliment to me. Okay, that dummy. I suddenly feel awful knowing it's not really that simple for her. Mm -hmm. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. Why do I feel a heavy weight in her in the air? Oh no. This is just a bad dream. This is just. I make a dash for the door. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to at least meet up with her or help her wake up. Even the simplest chance of walking out to school makes her really happy. Oh, I try to reach to Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I opened the door and let myself in. Hold the fish up! It was Saturday, Sunday! You were with Monica alone! So. Sayori? She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. In any case, I, it just feels right. What? As I say, is wrong. I knock on her door. Sayori? Wake up, dummy! There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? Well, she really leaves me no choice. I gently... Open. Door. Hey, I feel a light snap on my face. Come on. A cheery voice cuts through the darkness. I groan tiredly. Wake up, sleepy head. Whoever well, one went to up to me starts to shake my body. Sheesh, what more will I have to do to wake you up? Maybe I'll get some water and dump it on you. Or coffee could work too, I guess. After hearing that, I truly woke up. Okay, okay, I'm awake! My eyes just opened and the room was... I was in... comes into view. It's so dark still. What the fish up? Outside in the hallways, I can hear the sound of students walking around. Their voices all cluttered together. 
My attention is drawn back by looking to see who is waking me up. Standing in front of me is Sayori. <laughs> With a smirk on her face, she playfully flicks my nose. By Sayori is drowning in guilt, I decided to pick up one of the pamphlets on the school desk. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki and Yuri's poem for the ones they performed during our practice. I soon flipped to Sayori's poem. <coughs> ah, a new one, so, um, yes. Flowers on the field. Sometimes the night aren't dark. Sometimes the blanket isn't cold. Sometimes I see a friend standing in a field. A field of flowers, green, bright and gold. Blue, red, purple, green. Like a rainbow, like strings to a beat. Like fingers snapping to the wind. I went the same game. Yes! It's the same dream each time, but I didn't feel sad. I feel like bright, fist and eggs. I feel like sunlight and after rain. I feel like cookies and cupcakes, and all my problems go away. Flowers on the field help me grow. Flowers on the field don't go. I'm afraid of the dark. I'm afraid of the snow. Oh, it's it's beautiful. Yeah, I think so, Ron. I wrote this after taking a nap, so I thought it would be terrible. Well, you did good with this one. Okay, everyone, welcome to the lecture club. Applause erupts throughout the entire room. Afterwards, it goes silent again. We can get started with our presentations after a short speech from myself. I take a deep breath in and then begin to speak. So without further ado, let me introduce the characters of our very own literature club. Our Vice President, Sayori. Roman! <laughs> Sayori walks up to me and begins speaking in a, speaking in a whisper. I I'm too shy. Maybe Monica can go first. <laughs> I answer her in a hurried whisper. Hey, you should pick up your President. Fine, fine. I see the curl-haired girl step to the front of the classroom with two sheets of paper in her hand. Hello, everyone. My name is Sayori. And before I read my poem, I'd like to tell you a bit about myself. That, hopefully, this poem will offer you a piece of me. Sayori so looks at me deeply, then back to the audience again. The title of my poem is... Goodbye, sunshine. Sayori so begins to read her poem as a sick bay watcher, as without interruption. Dear sunshine, why does looking at you hurt? Because things can stay this way forever. I know we'll see each other again at dawn, or maybe not. So I can trust you to keep my happy thoughts safe for now. Can count each day you give me. Days I wish would never end. Why are you so far away, shining and shining, glowing and glowing? Your love is so warm and happy. It's almost unfair. I can see you clearly now in the sky. Oh, there's no need to say goodbye. Gary Bass. What a beautiful poem. Okay, 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 thank you. To keep the power rolling, I ask Gary to come forward. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to a now to the next member. She's responsible for the banner on stage as well as for the soothing tea you're currently, currently drinking. We have here none other than our very own Yuri. Why does it sound weird? Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I like to be called Yuri because I like ghosts. <laughs> Yuri's trying to calm her anxiety and looks as if it's working. I'm happy, and now I'll present you my poem, Insensible Beginnings. Yuri begins to read her poem, and, and I listen. Listening juice in the twilight sky. What the fish is this song? A coffee, covered sigh, solitary yet confident, big beauty beyond reach. One questions the sensations of sight, uncertainty, philosophy, pleasure. 
Here he goes. What a beautiful poem. <coughs> wonderful, wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce the next member. She's responsible for the cupcakes you're eating. None other than our very own Natsuki. Hey yo, fellow schoolers! I'm excited to present my poem to you today. My poem is short, but absolute. Well, with that, what it says, anyways. My poem is more simplistic, which will hopefully be nice. May I present to you... Harry Fantasy! Natsuki begins to read her poem and I listen. Giving me a little more time to laugh. What the fish is it? I know people have eight evenings because they're cold. But stars only appear at night. And dark times don't always go. Give me a little more time to cry. I know it's easier to count stars with friends. But friends are really hard to find. And good times do always end. Give me a little more time to try. That letting go of exceptions isn't goodbye. That sometimes it's alright to lose. Give me a little more time. That's his bones. What a beautiful poem. And short one. Also, how would... Interesting. Wonderful. Well done. Also... Suddenly, Signore. Just Monica. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce the last member. But I'm sure you already know her. Come on up and say hi. Monica stands with an air of confidence. Hello everyone. Took long enough for me to get up here. My the poem today is going to talk about my feelings. My feelings about today. My feelings about this club. My feelings about life and about stuff in general. The title is Well, it's good for you to have Andrew Saturday and also what the fish? Ducky Ducky Litchie Club. I thought it glitch. Monica commits to read her poem and I listen. What would it take to write a happy ending? Uh oh. A ending without a song. A story without conflict. What is this song? Control was my only remedy. What? Fear, my frantic ally. Like stances in a poem, we were words tied to choice, glued together by chance, like instruments in a song. Jesus. And yet, I caught it. Doki Doki Lichuk. A place where words turn to love. A place where love turned to literature. A place where literature was music. What? It began with a blink. Click a pair, a pair with a name. That existence was orchestrated, etc. I often have infinite choices. Like a free from power. It is in potential. Free from structure. Cutter was an illusion for the My true enemy. Right, though. But it's a writer without a pen, a struggle without the story. Maybe happy endings aren't real. Maybe villains aren't real. Maybe this place. Maybe this. Maybe. Marka Pals. What a beautiful poem! Uh huh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. From, I want to free from structure, control was an illusion, and fear, my true enemy. Holy moly, fishing lolly. Wonderful, absolutely amazing. After Monica reads her poem, I move to the front of the classroom. Well, it's good and all that they finished their poems. There's yet another requ requirement for me to allow you all to leave the Doki Doki Lecce Club. People applaud the club's new, new nickname. I even see Monica's eye twinkle from the corner of my eye. My glance a return, returns to the crowd of the festival and dandies. Please look in the back for the handmade pamphlets on your way out of the, out the door. And don't forget to take another cupcake and a cup of tea. I gesture for the other club members to follow my lead. We all stand at the front of the classroom. We all, we all hope you return to the literature club. 
And just like that, Doki Doki Literature Club comes to an end. Thank you for watching. Hey, Monica. Roman. Yeah, hey. Ever since we were kids, I never really got the chance to say this to you. But I love you. I feel Monica's grip tighten a little bit. Only for it to loosen it, let go. And a complete turn of events. Monica runs away from me. Everything I've ever done it was to make sure we could be together again. I was a coward. Yes. A madless shell. Yes. But those days are over now. From now on, I'll be here for you, Monica. And I'll never leave your side. I took a look to the sun again. It's nearly set, but it will rise again tomorrow. I'm just happy that it will rise again, only the both of us. And we'll both share it, together. That's the end of the bot! Okay. Oh, what? 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 Oh, why? Hold the fish on! Hold the fish on! Why did you just get cri- What? I slowly opened the letter. It's the ending. I had dreamed that giving you my pen instead and brought me to you. If you're reading this now, it can only mean one thing that you may have done without having to choose me. With this world, I'll die with our memories. But then leaving you, it's the price I'll have to pay. Infinitely yours. What? What is a fi What is the what? Okay, I'm coffee. Coffee. But the ah. The, my, does this mean that it's the end of the game or is it just what I, I'm confused I I want to I know, Chen Jen hair good job Also, what? Dun 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 What the fish? No ho 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 Fish you hoo 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 I'll be at the play What the fish do you mean? What the fish do you mean? And it's song MBS What? Wow. <laughs>